Today we are learning about another engineer. Have a little read of the slides to see all about what she invented. Today your learning objectives are to describe the work of Stephanie Kolek and her to describe the work of Stephanie Kolek with materials and to choose materials for jobs based on their properties. Okay, and you can see some of the success criteria below. I want you to be able to recall facts about her, identify uses for Kevlar, and to choose your own materials for your very own task. Have a look at these materials. What materials could be described as hard? Wood, iron, cement, steel. What jobs would you normally use them for? Is there any downside to this? I'm thinking about they're quite heavy sometimes to use for lots of different things. So I wouldn't want a bag made out of cement or iron because it'd be very heavy to carry to school. Stephanie Kolak was tasked with the job of finding a light material that was also very hard and strong. Her and her father were both very interested in science. Stephanie soon got a job at a big chemical company in New York, trying to find a lighter material to use in car tyres. This would mean the car would go further without having to fill up petrol. The heavier vehicle, the more fuel it needs. Stephanie knew if she reduced the weight of the vehicle by making the tyres lighter, fuel would be saved. Stephanie created a very hard plastic. In fact, it was five times stronger than steel of the same weight, but it was much, much lighter. As well as cars, Stephanie found that her invention was also being used for another special job. Because the material was exceptionally strong and lightweight, it could be used for bulletproof vests. Today, it's still used in bulletproof clothing worn by the police and armed forces, so it has saved an enormous number of lives. You can see here that even involved, it's even included in protective gloves, in diving equipment, boots, helmets and fireproof clothing. Click on this link and watch this video. As you watch, pause the video every few minutes and doodle some of the facts you hear. Here is my doodle along. Remember, it doesn't need to be perfect, it's a doodle. I'll also post this link in your STEAM channel on your Teams. Today, your STEAM challenge is this. Make an egg protector to stop an egg from cracking when dropped from a height. Think about soft materials that will not damage the egg, but they're strong enough to protect your egg. You need, you can put your egg in a cup or a wee box, but remember, be gentle with it. And this is one of the most important parts. Test outside with the permission of an adult. Make sure you ask where you are allowed to test it and when you are allowed to test it. When you're finished, upload a photo, video or drawing of your egg protector to the Steam channel on your Microsoft Teams. Now this is your last Steam challenge, so be as creative as you like. Here below, you can pause this video and read some of the key facts and science behind an egg protector. Here are some examples that you may like to see. You can see there are a variety of materials. Use whatever you have in the house. You do not need to buy any extra stuff. If you finished and you had lots of fun and you've still got a bit of time, here is an extension quiz. Take the, take the quiz on the next few slides. How many facts can you remember? I'll let you read each of the questions yourself. Have fun.